Welcome listeners. You're about to embark on a fun and exciting journey brought to you by Teacher J. Get ready to dive into today's story where learning meets imagination. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this special audiobook presented by Teacher J. It was October 31st, but to me, just another day in my little neck of the woods. And Mom was getting ready for the biggest prayer meeting of the year, Hallelujah Day. Down at our little white church, Grace Upon Grace Apostolic Church, folks say it's been there longer than most of us can remember, nestled deep in the Texas woods with walls that almost seem to hum with all the prayers they've heard. Now, Hallelujah Day wasn't like Halloween, not one bit. We didn't dress up as ghosts or goblins or go door to door begging for candy. No, sir, we dressed in our Sunday best and went to praise the Lord. We'd sing and pray, thanking Jesus for the harvest, for his love, and for the way he guides us every day. But not everyone understood. That afternoon, as I was helping Mama pack the car with pots of greens and sweet potato pies, some friends from school came running down the road. Birdie, you coming trick-or-treating with us tonight? Asked Mariah, her eyes all bright and shiny. She wore a sparkly fairy costume, her wings fluttering in the breeze. I shook my head. Can't go trick-or-treating, Mariah. I'm going to Hallelujah Day. They looked at me, confused. Hallelujah Day? What's that? Asked Jimmy, scrunching up his nose. It's a special night at church, I explained, where we sing and pray and celebrate God's goodness. It's my favorite night of the year. Jimmy rolled his eyes. But it's Halloween, Birdie. Aren't you scared of missing out on all the fun? I thought about it for a minute. Halloween did sound fun, but not the way Hallelujah Day was. You see, Halloween was about dressing up as something you're not. But Hallelujah Day was about being exactly who God made me to be. I looked at Mariah and Jimmy and felt a nudge in my heart, something strong and sure. Come to Hallelujah Day with me, I said. You don't need costumes or candy to have fun. I'll show you. Mariah and Jimmy hesitated, glancing at each other. I don't know, Bertie, Mariah began. Do y'all know what prayer can do? I asked, feeling that nudge growing. Prayer is powerful. It's like having a direct line to God himself. When you're scared or lonely, you can pray. And it's like he's right there with you. Tonight at Hallelujah Day, we're going to be praying together for all the good things God's done. You don't have to pretend to be someone else. You can just be you, and that's enough. They stood there thinking. I could see it in their eyes like they were trying to decide if they'd take the chance. What's it like? Jimmy asked softly. I smiled. It's like having a big old family around you, all thanking God, all feeling safe and happy. You feel this peace inside, like nothing in the world can hurt you. Well, Mariah said, looking down at her sparkly fairy wings, I guess we can give it a try. When we got to Grace Upon Grace that night, the church was already alive with music and laughing. Folks were singing, clapping their hands, and dancing in the aisles. The smell of pies and casseroles filled the air, and everyone had a big old smile on their face. Mariah and Jimmy looked around, eyes wide. They seemed nervous at first, but after a few songs, they started clapping along, even swaying a bit. Pastor James came up to the front, smiling with his warm, gentle eyes. Tonight, he said, we're here to remember how good our God is. Let's thank him for all he's done, for his love, for the peace he gives us, even when times are hard. As he prayed, I closed my eyes and felt that peace wash over me like a soft blanket on a cold night. I peeked at Mariah and Jimmy. They were praying, too eyes squeezed tight, and for the first time I saw a look of calm settle on their faces. Afterward, Jimmy whispered, I think I felt something, like something warm, right here. He put his hand over his heart. That's God, I said, grinning. 
He's always there, ready to give you peace whenever you need it. We spent the rest of the night singing, eating sweet potato pie and thanking God. Mariah and Jimmy laughed and sang like they'd been coming to Hallelujah Day their whole lives. And when it was time to go, Mariah looked at me and said, Thanks, Bertie. I never knew prayer could feel like this. As we walked home through the woods, the moon shining down and the leaves crunching beneath our feet, I felt grateful. October 31st wasn't just another day. It was a night I'd remember forever. A night when my friends discovered that true joy didn't come from costumes or candy, but from the peace and power of prayer. And that's something worth more than all the treats in the world. The end. We hope you enjoyed this original story brought to you by Teacher Jay. Be sure to check out the channel page for more exciting titles and adventures. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next time.